Hey, I'm Danny, and this is a video covering how I made a very knockoff looking version of MS Paint and how I learned about making image filters with just C++ code. This is part of my new series where I'm going to be covering past coding projects as I'm currently an interactive multimedia and design student at Carleton University. Making filters and editing images. A lot of us know Photoshop can edit images with brightness, contrast, and saturation control. But how does the computer put filters on images behind the scenes? Here is the function for brightness. Basically, the computer just applies the max value to red, green, and blue values of each pixel. The slider controls how much intensity is added, then the code loops to update the image instantly. Similar things happen when we want to edit contrast and saturation. However, in contrast, we have a math function to calculate intensity of pixels. It's called the contrast ratio. To calculate the contrast ratio, we got the luminance and intensity of color 1 divided by the darker color. For saturation, it gets way simpler, and basically I just added the slider value with the set saturation function from Open Frameworks. It's same time, okay? Actually, along with saturation, Open Frameworks has a cool set hue function. It just allows one color to be shown and desaturates the rest. I love this, but don't ask me how this works. Grayscale filter. You may have used Photoshop's grayscale filter before, but it's actually really simple math going on in the background. To convert to grayscale, just take all the red, green, and blue and divide it by three. There is another grayscale formula that looks like this, but I just chose to program the simpler route. Invert filter. Inverting is a super complicated process. Okay, get ready. You take the max value of 255 and minus the pixel color. That's it. Okay, moving on. Sharpening edge and blur filters. This is where stuff starts to get crazy with math. My teacher explained it better in class, but I'm going to do my best to explain it here as well. Using a concept called image kernels, we use matrices to edit the image's pixels. The process is also called convolution. If you're in computer science, you may have heard about a very popular topic called AI image generation that uses a convolutional neural network. The matrices help determine important pixels by multiplying pixel values by a matrix. This is what the sharpening matrix looks like. Edge detection is really similar in numbers, but focusing on almost the opposite pixels in order to sharpen the outlines. The blur matrix is all about de-emphasizing differences in pixels. By multiplying by a decimal, the pixel values get smaller and therefore get closer together to achieve a blurry effect. Last but not least, we have a very rudimentary eyedropper tool. The code just receives the mouse position and selects the RGB value. Presentation. When I was done making image filters, I quickly coded some image importing so you can bring your masterpieces of art into the program to apply the filters. For extra special points, I changed the background and the GUI to look like the retro MS Paint GUI from Windows 95. And that wraps up image filters. I haven't really done a project like this since in terms of image filtering, but I still find the process of making filters extremely cool, as it's something we don't really think of as hardcore math, but actually gets pretty complicated underneath. Uh, thank you, Photoshop, for making my life extremely easy. <laughs> thank you for watching, and make sure to come back for more videos on my projects. Thank you!